Hi guys. In this video, we will create a mold with multiple cavities. How are the steps? Come on. Let's just watch the video. Create a new part. Then insert the model part. Create axis then select front plane and right plane. Check the distance between the ends of the product on the X and Y axis. Move the product about the axis. Set product scale is 1.02. This is for polypropylene material shrinkage. Create a parting line in the front plane. Use convert entities commands. Connect with horizontal lines and arcs. Then extend the right line. Add a line for the interlock. Set all dimensions to be fully defined. Exit sketch. Click on the revolved surface with axis 1 as the axis of revolution. OK. Also create the extruded surface of sketch 1. Select the midplane and set it at 20 mm. Click section view and select the right plane. Drag the arrow and see the difference between revolved surface and extruded surface. Cut using the cut with surface for the difference. So that the tooling split process is successful. Make the radius of the spoon lip at 1.1 millimeters so that it is softer when touching the lips when using it for eating. Create a parting line. Select the top plane then click draft analysis. The message is, the parting line is complete. The mold can be separated into core and cavity. Green is positive. And red is negative. OK. surface extruded. Choose a circular pattern. Then copy the cavity surface and core surface 16 times. Axis 1 is the pattern axis. OK. Do the trim surface command to create the revolved surface of parting surface. Trim type is mutual. Choose a surface revolve and all surface will be red.
Then select the surface revolve in the key selections. OK. Select the split tooling and click the revolve surface as a plane. Sketch a circle with a difference of 10 mm smaller than the outer diameter of the revolved surface. OK then exit sketch. Set the depth at 50 and 70 mm. Click surface trim as parting surface. OK. Finish the drawing mold. You can continue to add fillets and runner gates. Good luck, and see you in the next video. Thank you.